everyone, it has been a little while. Um, haven't played since Thursday. I have a work meeting in a couple of hours. So I just thought, hey, I have some time to play right now. Had a good writing session on Sunday, but I'm almost in the mood to just kind of shut myself off to just finish all of my side projects, especially considering that, um... Right, so one of my subscribers said that I have everything that I need to to open these chests, so... I... I have a thought. Because it is an eyeball. Oh. Oh! Oh. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, now I feel so bad. <laughs> okay, my hunch was... Correct. Good to know. So... You can sneak up on this, but I feel very bad doing so. Anyway, I really would desire just shut myself off and finish my projects during March, but when you throw off your work-life balance this far, it's really not a good idea, especially I'm considering that it's... at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Hmm. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Well, I mean, I didn't neglect my studies precisely. I was studying in the Forbidden Forest. I was studying of all the things that can kill me. I've been doing a lot of studying there. So, I don't have that. You need to learn to pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. I'm sorry, Professor Sharp, aren't you a... Potions guy? It's pretty sure that Mr. Scarface was Potions guy. Come here! Come on! I already saw where you got go, so... Come with me. We have some slapping to do. Perfect! Jesus Christ, why am I so shitty at placing my stream chat? Let me just... Put it down a little bit because I have literally no idea how much out of how much I have there. <laughs> Let me just... Look at it. 11 out of 16, okay. Oh, flying cat clot. Okay. Um Kind of kind of want to attend the flying class honestly. Really good. I am very very slow at it. That's what I can say. I if I check my steam stats. I've been playing it for 13 hours. I'm pretty sure that people get to this place a lot faster than I do, but I do as much meandering as possible because I enjoy the atmosphere of it. It can be a bit shitty to run. Oh, I think I missed a bit. A lot. A bit. A bit a lot. That's behind the lock. Uh, oh. Uh, I, I need my three. It is very fun, at least for me. I'm playing it on normal. I'm not necessarily the best at playing video games, so... That's my cat. So it's still pretty difficult for me at times, but I know that some people are upset at the lack of difficulty, but this is not supposed to be the hardest game. Where are you going? 
I need that. Wherever it went to, I need... Oh, that's where it went to. Time to slap another key. Can't believe that I nearly completed all of the key slapping. Mostly because... Hello, Rofi. They're only in very specific places. Heard a ping. What the heck is that? It's like whole ass blue walls. Is that... Are those secret entrances? Oh my... Oh. Oh, that's why! I completely forgot, Kaderp. Upgraded the range of that thing yesterday, so I'm seeing through floors. <laughs> oh, 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 another, another freaking key! Another freaking key! Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? To be fair... Shouting Revelio in this school just makes you see better, so it's it's probably a good thing. Oh my god, there's just so many keys to slap in just this one singular area. No! Yep, you hear that kitty. It's because the kitty is sitting on the bookshelf and it's being noisy. I sorted the issues with my boss, by the way, but I have to attend meeting this Tuesday and then meeting this Friday. And now it's Tuesday, so until it's meeting time, I'm just playing in here and then I'm leaving myself some time to wash off the makeup because I'm not attending a meeting while looking slightly crazy. It's like, let me just take my evening wear Rebellion. to, you know, do this work meeting, I'm sure that is completely fine. I have a feeling that we have something that we haven't solved down here. I don't count how often I breathe and now you made me very um, Lumos. aware of that. We need a dog and a tree and I don't think that there's any dogs or trees this way. Is that the eating place? Well, I mean, nearly. The heck am I seeing? Th oh, shit! Lumos. You can see where it is! That is where it is! That is where my friend is, but he's behind the door! And I still don't know how to pick locks, which just sounds like a very important thing. Can I help you? No? Okay. You do you then. Um, I should probably start following a quest. To be fair, we, we have a flying... Whoa. That was a pretty bad idea. I just threw some... Well, whoever is gonna climb the stairs after me, that's their problem, not mine. Uh, if you encounter any cabbages that eat people, I am very sorry. Or maybe not. I am gonna visit the potions buying place <laughs> after the flying class, I think. Maybe for recipes, maybe for done potions, because the potions professor was like, hey... You should learn some defense against the dark arts that I am teaching for some really bizarre reason. By the way, chuck these potions before I teach you. I don't know what watch streaks mean. Oh, you have one. I have literally no idea what that is. God damn it, and I'm the one streaming on Twitch. Oh my god, it's probably nighttime because it's very quiet right now. I love nighttime. In real life and in Hogwarts. This Revelio that is Revelio. for extra distance is gonna really do my head in because currently I'm just revealing everything at just massive spaces. Oh! 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 I, I think I was right. I don't know. That doesn't seem like daytime.
I like how the witch GPS just sometimes freaks out if you don't follow it perfectly. So right now it's like, ah, where are you going? And I'm like, here. Let, let me just sleep on the grass for a little bit. I love the fact that I just sleep on the grass for a little bit. Somebody sent me mail in that amount of time. If I don't press O... Where is my mail? There it is. I'm happy to report that my sister Helen survived a sudden attack in Azkaban. She said that she does not hold a grudge against Anne, as terrible as the violence was. After seeing the conditions in Azkaban and knew, Helen said it's no wonder Anne's mind is so far gone. It seems you found Jack Saw's ghost and told him about Anne. Helen wanted you to know that he has evidently promised to work with the Ministry and Helen to see that if anything can be done for her. Eddie Thistlewood. Well... Good on you, ghost. Good on you. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. I... Teacher, can you issue me a broom? I don't have one. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. We're fifth years. Everyone, we should know what we're doing. Please welcome a new student to our flying class. Okay. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As the goal of today is to remind you that we can fly. Transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players. Look, just the like shape the of the broom table. makes it multi-purpose, so Not I don't fan, mind I owning it. one. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. What practice? Yourself, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Can you do this with any object? Thank you. Now, your turn. Uh, uh, can I just uh, uh, say very firmly sword? up to um, uh, a random ass pot and just put myself uh, in it? Because that would be kind of cool. I can just be the girl with the flying the pot. Each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. But I look very elegant, side settled. And considering that I have a skirt, everyone will be able to see my underwear if I'm not. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. I don't like grounding myself. In general, Good. I don't like now, being struck by for lightning. Your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Whoa! Do take care. Whoa! Okay, this isn't that this bad. Has been returned in one piece. Oh, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Yeah, this is this is half good as flying systems go. <laughs> well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, hello. Let's see how will you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? I don't like advanced exercises. I'm doing one for my work right now. I'm just not enjoying it. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Ooh, Esther. What have you? Oh God. Um. Hello. Nice day for a flight. Right, hitting Brilliant. shift and control at the same time is um slightly not what I enjoy. The old boathouse. Oh, Wish cool! Shift is a toggle. The lake, Never mind, here. this isn't that bad. As far as flying systems go, this can compete with some of MMOs, honestly. This is pretty decent. Flying in early Harry Potter games definitely more oh, annoying than this. It's not the greatest feel with the camera because the camera is just kind of glued so I can't look up or down. But I don't particularly need to either. I just kind of wanted a way to travel faster than I was doing without just teleporting to location and this is 
This is gonna work. Well done. Have a moment. No, I don't have a moment, teacher. Yes. Everyone's allowed I to ask say, questions. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Why do you sound but so I'm angry? Myself. We haven't probably met. I'm Everett Clopton. Why do I'm you look angry? That a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high I think you fun? just have a resting male bitch face. Okay. Can't say let's, no to that. let's have some fun. What did you have in mind? I'll a probably detour, lose. So to speak. Let's detour oh, no. all the day, all day long, maybe. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Wee! It's all, isn't it? Okay, this is too much fun. Whoa, no! Ahead of the gardens. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. Oh, but we have I'm snacks, so matey. Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Whoa! Now that's more like it. So... You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's slow speed. There's I'm pressing shift and then there's the I'm also bridge. clicking a mouse Make button. All the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Plaintiffs and a jaunt around Hogwarts. I want to collect every owl, but they're not collectible. Nah, this is very enjoyable. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. I don't suppose dismounting mid-flight is so smart. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, right. How do I do this? Is that landed enough? Oh, B! What do you mean landing is unavailable right now? Where do you think I am? Alright, kitty cat, I'll Where let you out. You to be? Come on, kitty cat. Come on, friend. Oh, hello, professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following kitty my Kitty cat wanted toilet and he was about to go behind Mr. my screen. I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still I... because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Respect the class the is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the but future. But that was fun. I like so, fun. That was some rather good flying. Thank you. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. Your eyebrows are really too low down, and the older you get, the lower they fall, so they're just gonna be on top of the eyelid of, of your eyelids the faster than you can notice. I have definitely no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Thanks, broke student. Taking certain ways to class based on the class. Sorry about that. I once again wanted to press escape and press tab instead, so you can just 
Just have some... Just have some salad. What have we not claimed? We haven't claimed this. Not entirely sure that I like how it looks, but it's ours regardless. Do we have anything? Oh, we have the assignment from the professor. We have the whole floating candle shit, which I don't actually know where it is. How much money do I have? I know that I still have like talents and shit. Not assigned, but I'm not in a rush to assign them. How much money do I have? Cash, cash money. Oh, 3,000. For maybe it buys a broom. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see what. Now, what about that whole outfit thing? Actually, yeah. Let me just look like a badass grave robber for a while. I would like to. I can't do astral projection. I do believe I have video on meditation already. Um, one of the videos that I used to advertise my book, I believe what I read on that one was my section on meditation. I really need Hogsmeade. Oh, there we go. That's Hogsmeade. Now, where is Broom Guy? That's Broom's Guy. Let's see if we can afford a broom. If not, I'm just emptying everything that I have in my inventory and then seeing if I can afford a broom. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, Meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. You don't need to apologize for asking questions. I need to figure out where the shit is the broom place. Is it the thing with the giant marker Please on it? Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea <laughs> for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Do you sell brooms in- I think you do sell brooms in here. Uh, but before I do that, I'm just... I'm sorry, unident- oh, unidentified. I thought it was an un unintended hand item. In case you know, you had some intent Hello, in taking some Mr. hand Weeks, items. Is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've but only you just do returned. have flu powder, powder don't you? I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Yes! Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Well, disrupted trade routes made you close? You said disrupted trade routes cause you to close spin witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently, criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. What else can you tell me about your brooms? Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wing wisps. 
well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear fly in them, likely to do with the Yew one's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me is that like giddy. It's one of many having a I Ferrari or something. Shop. Like, look, honey, I brought an ember dash. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Something that I can afford. Oh, it seems that I can indeed afford everything. <laughs> Aw, oh, that sounds kinda cute. No, it's not. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. You can have this. Nice doing business with you. You can have this. You can definitely have this. And you can have this. It's just that it's if you're gonna train for it, it is a skill that's Fairly hard to achieve. Just something to keep in mind. It's not something that you can do over day, and some people can't do that ever. Well, you can have whatever that was. I, I do need to identify a couple of things. I wish I could just compare that with what I currently have. I'm never wearing green things ever, so that's. Eh. Thanks for stopping by. I... Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! <laughs> Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. Okay. Happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever, Clever girl. girl. An ideal situation. For you make her sound like a raptor. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Okay. I'll. I'll, I'll, I'll try. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Right, so there is a side quest. Over there. Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Protego. That's Protego. I can't fly in Hogsmeade at all. That kind of sucks. It was heavier than I would have liked. Doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Game is like no burbs. No burbs allowed. Uh... What? I have a feeling that I need to move my chat again! What if I move it very low down? Quite the flyer. Oh, that's how! Okay. 
Yes. Look at me having brooms and shit. Don't really know what this is, but... Oh, it's that boat place. Ooh, boat place. Ah! Okay. That's how. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Revelio. I had people commenting on some of my older videos recently, but I personally don't tend to like keep them in the head too much. I'll take that, thank you very much. Ooh, that looks like a very unique appearance. I need broom. Can I not fly in here? Oh yeah, it says no flight zone. Interesting. Okay. Got it. Now need to remember to slow down before disembarking because weird shit happens if you don't. You just kind of end up sliding alongside everything. Revelio. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's very cool. I can Revelio in space. Like, what is that mark? I can't really cast while being on... Revelia. ...thing. That mark, though. That... That doorway. Thing. Or oh, whatever it is, it's, I think it's on the inside. Oh, kind of cool. I could just like fly into a clock tower if I wanted to. Is there something cool up here? Oh, there is a door. Revelia. Door with a lock, I believe. Yeah, flying is just great. I have no complaints about it whatsoever. Now, mind you, we are about to do a flying thingy and that might not go down too well. But we'll see. Hufflepuff. I probably have a name. Imelda Rays? Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Well, um, uh, we were just having fun. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. 
Enough of this. I'm sorry. <laughs> one way to find out who's the Are brooms exclusive to Slytherin? What do I get? A death horse? Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. Let's -a go, Mario. Why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. I hope you're gonna put me on the broom because I'm very awkward with just the mouth. Yep, you you will. Thank you. Thank you about that. Fun. Whoa! Whoa! Yep, shit, shit, shit! Right, I'm not good at time trials, I'm not good at races, this is both. Um... So I'm very wombly. Made it. Brilliant. Very wombly. Let's not hit a tree. <laughs> I don't know how uh, Superman on sixty four. Blade! Ah! 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 Did it. I'm so glad that I solved my frame rate issues by upgrading RAM because playing <laughs> this on like 16 like FPS would be a really horrible experience. Ah! <laughs> Wobbly! <laughs> A broom. <laughs> uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Oh, uh, fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't give a shit about your respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You go, girl. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. I'm just glad that I upset her. Revelia. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fed. That's pretty good. Good enough. I I never thought someone would ever best an this time. Want to reveal you. There's nothing to reveal long. here. I mean that is not true. There is a girl that did this course in like one minute and thirty seconds, and I don't trust my wobbles that much. I'm just saying. <laughs> Revelia. All right, there's nothing interesting around the course, which is slight bummer. Oh, this is so much more manageable right now. What if we just flew into the spider's nest? Revelio. Like, I kinda wanna know what this means. Outside of 
They're spoiders. So they're spoiders? There's spoiler eggs? There's something that says levitate two enemies? Um... Oh, uh, 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 I just realized that I actually covered my health potion with... Stop that. Well, they definitely... St yeah, um... Ugh. Definitely don't cover your life thing with your chat. That's just about as bad of an idea as you can have. <laughs> just, just, just the thought. I have those sometimes, but not, not often, but sometimes. I definitely have those sometimes. So, we're just gonna get our broom and not land in the middle of spiders like a dumbass. That sounds like a plan. But I am very intrigued with all those symbols and I don't know what they mean. I mean, I know some of those. Like, some of those is just, Hey, there's vegetables growing here. And then others are like, Hey, there's magic animals of magic, magic tree. Yes, that's a word. I already have puffer skins. Just seeing all the animals as a collection. Revelio. They don't really like me flying inside the town. to be very mean to this chest. I actually do feel really bad that I'm very mean to this chest. station or something. Kinda look like this. Uh, no. Put Loomis down. Hop. God damn it. Okay, we don't wanna hop. But it looked like that might be the correct area. Hi! Come with me now. Not a day goes by. <sighs> Thank you. This is mine. Hogsmeade, here I come. Revelio. Don't think this is a Hogsmeade, here I come. I'm pretty sure that this is Hogsmeade, I already came. Oh, you're back! With something to report, I am. Run by the amiable Albie Weeks, the shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, 
including the latest brew models. Gossip around town is that Albie himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. I set a record on my broom. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set or a rather record I beat broom. the record. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed. Yeah, kind of wobbly. It fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Who has that of you? Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. I mean, it always does, Those people but... people don't appreciate the sense good of... Good things come, come out of ruining things. Like, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethick could let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? While I'm here, I should definitely shop for some potions. Which means remembering which ones I need and where the potion store is. God damn it. So I am here, right? That's wands. That's potions. Let's let's just get ourselves two potions first. And then we're gonna check the list again. I saw what you did! Ha! I have no tolerance for thieves! Hand them back! Hand what back, sir? We've not took a thing. Hand them back! There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. Uh, that's all of them, sir. Honestly, I swear. How many times are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? I swear it was just those ones, we sir. Promise, sir. We'd never take more than those. I tell you this, they'll not appreciate your antics in Azkaban. You just wait till I see your mother. That was a bit harsh. <laughs> I just love how alive the world is. Where am I in... <laughs> When it comes to the path towards the potions, I'm behind it. Oh. You can always go and give them more than what they asked for. It might be weird, but say that you're feeling very generous and that you have a feeling that they need money. So then... So he has work for me to begin with. And I need a focus potion. Maxima and Endorus potion. Got it. I'm, j I'm about to spend all my money in the potion store. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Actually, I am, but second. Um, that's not what I wanted. There we go. J. Pippin's potions, established in 1753, is the apothecary in Hogsmeade where proprietor Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. I already forgot what I needed. What can I do for you today? Wise decision. Thank you. A 
a wise decision. Thank you. I already have a spell that does the whole invisibility thing, so I don't actually know why would I need... Very good. Potion that does Never work. hurts to keep my stocks replenished. I do want to identify some things before I pawn them off. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Okay, that's not too bad. I have a lot of that. Now, do you want me to drink those or just have them? There's there's a bit of a difference. Acquire and use. Okay. I require assistance with delivery and thought you may be interested. Plus, please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you would like to earn a couple of coins. Well, coins right now is definitely something that I need, so count me in. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. Cambridge? What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no Aww. time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Happy to help. to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. I have a feeling that the reason why she keeps on calling you is because she likes you. Ooh, she lives far away. That's alright, once I get out of here, using my not super accurate witch GPS, I'll get on the broom! Then go vroom vroom! And then I will probably chug some potions and... Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Revelia. Maybe because they do. I do like this increased distance Revelio, though it can be confusing. Vroom! Fast room. Imagine if you actually did put it out of business. Like, just you with just your fistful of pasties. Like, oh no, if we only sold one fistful more of candy. We could have really survived, but we were just a couple penny short. I'm just gonna descend and thread the water surface, I think. It's very shiny. Room. I don't think I disturb it. Whoa! And I do believe I collide with rocks sometimes. Pavelia. What, what can you do? Sacrifices need to be made in our travels sometimes. Look at that! They even have a guy that sells stuff in here. Very fancy. Lucky them. Ooh. 
Velia. Something very flappy on the surface there. Which reminds me, things can probably chase you in air. There is a symbol of a skull that way? I don't think that skulls are good. I could be wrong. I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. But probably I'm not. The locals call this tilted house due to the odd angle at which it sits wrapped in the roots of the overhanging tree. That's fair. I think I would also call it the tilted house. Oh my god, I got a single health potion again. It is kind of tilted. Look, when building something that's at an angle, you tend to build just uneven flooring so that it's raised at one point more than on the other. You don't tilt the whole place. That just sounds highly inconvenient. It should have been here by now. I am grabbing the flues before talking to you. This Could is kind of far away. A Merlin trial. Rebellion. The barkeep in Keenbridge keeps a stock of ginger root handy to fend off its customers' nausea and keep them imbibing a bit longer. Does that mean that if I pretend to be nauseous, ginger drinks are free? Because I would kind of like that. The wizarding world needs honey for their tea as much as the muggle world does. <laughs> hey, you can be a beekeeper. Imagine that, everybody's doing like cool wizard shit and you're just keeping to your bees. They're having a happy life, probably with a lot less death than everybody else. Mao. Mao. No, that's locked. Only wanted to break into your house, mate. Why do you do this to me? Whoa! Okay. I just... Don't mind me, I just jumped into the water. Um, that wasn't very intentional. It's like a place right out of a storybook. That Pippin should have been here by now. I'm Pippin now, bitch. Madame Luong, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Yes, Always he did. cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your bro them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you buy it from him, then? Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers That's satisfied. why I buy from those vendors. Well, here's your potions. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Okay. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will. I like the fact that, that he knew that that will happen. As high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills. <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. What are your customers like? You mentioned that more and more customers are Thieves. trying to stay out of sight. 
Why? Well, Thieves. I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Well, definitely that. A fine choice. Exactly what I would have chosen. Cool. It Thank just, you for stopping I, in. I definitely I keep on running out of the combat well, supply things, so... I like having those. It's not how I get over there. Yay! Things and stuff. And they're all mine. All mine. I don't like the idea of wasting potion, but... Mr. Professor did ask me to do this. Excellent. Did we do it? Okay, now all I need to do is to attend potions class. Well, thank God for that. I remember. All oh, right, I can teleport from anywhere. I just can't pick up locations. Fair enough. Okay, another cat that needs to go. Come on. Otherwise, they just kind of hide behind my green screen and then do a pee. I don't really like that. I don't think that flying two kilometers is faster than actually teleporting. So I am definitely gonna teleport in here. Come on in. Hi. Healing portions of a speciality here, should you need any. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luan. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. Well, thank you. It was a pleasure doing I'm business with you, I'm not gonna extort him Likewise. for money. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. He's just a really sweet guy. And I think he gave me a hat and 300 gold. Alright, I mean, that's decent enough. I hope that it's not like yen, so I hope that it's not three dollars equivalent. Let me just go and find Mr. Professor so that he can give me a spell. Alex spells me. Where are you? I swear, there has to be like a place that he's the closest to. I'll just try the Great Hall, like, pure Great Hall, and I'll see how it goes. How 
Nice to see you, my young friend. Well, nice to see you too. I'm just gonna set it back to throwing shit at people. Revelia. Ooh. Lumos. It's inside wherever that is. Perhaps behind the locked door. Revelia. My Revelio picks things from such a distance that I should probably stop checking them and start just checking for... Where are you exactly? You're like inside the brick. It's really weird. Anyway, yeah, well, as I was saying, start just checking for the butterflies themselves. Because I can't see them through walls. On another adventure, are we? She's really talkative. Okay, I can't just dive straight down, so I probably should enter the building. Revelia. The library and like other places are sometimes forbidden at night and sometimes not. Like during quests, they may be, but in general, I can just go wherever I please. Aww, poor house elf. I made them vanish. Like just. Okay, so at this point, he like to teach us to do this. I am gonna just quickly go and check on my cats because I don't want any surprises. Because later on I have a work meeting and I rather not be checking for surprises right around there. So be right back. Okay, that was definitely a good idea. I did find the surprise. I am glad that I found it now and not later. Ah, the surprise was poop. Ah! Look at us having a nice <laughs> little show reel on the whole lesson. It's very wholesome. Are my boobs framed? Okay. You have to actually invite me to a lesson in order to speak with me afterwards. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. Oh. Oh, good enough. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, Perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Oh, cool. So one thing pulls and the other one repels. Well I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. Cool. I suppose it's because he was an error. Still out of this. Well. Repetition can be an excellent teacher. Okay! Well, that's done. 
Now, what is left on my quest log? I definitely want to see the room of requirement. Because, well, that just sounds like a cool thing to do. I would like to find the rest of Didalian keys, but the only way I'm doing that is if I'm exploring the castle, and the only way I'm exploring the castle is if I'm going somewhere. Rebellion. You doing what I do and just sleeping on the floor, I see. Well, you don't need to pass time right now, my girly. It is daytime. It's all good. Ooh. I think I already done that one. It was a copy from Hope I did anyway. So that's the flu flus. The flu flus. Let me pass. Pavelia. Don't suppose that I need to push that things that are in the air that I keep on seeing from time to time? Honestly, I'm pretty sure I need to set them on fire. Maybe I need to upgrade how far my fire goes. What do you want? Me personally, nothing really. I'm good, thank you. Rebellion. Thought that there might have been a page here, but no. Italians and a historian's uniform. It was brilliant solving those old treasure maps. My older sisters taught me everything I needed to know about Hogwarts before I stepped foot in the castle, including how to sneak food from in the kitchen. I adore playing with I'm sorry. A bit violent, but father says it's a good thing. You're Hufflepuff! We have snacks in the room, buddy! You know, there's no need to sneak food from the kitchens. What, do you see like your nightly cupcake and you're like, I don't fancy cupcakes really. What I would really like would be some chicken. Like some old chicken, preferably. I would just really like some old chicken. That was indeed a cat. I also have like six of them in my house. And it just claimed one of their poo. As you do. Oh, that sounds really tasty. I kind of had carbonara today, but minus like the sauce. So it was just minced meat with spaghetti, but we Professor did add Weasley? tomatoes, so. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. I like it when my professors are cryptic and just lure our 15-year-olds places. Look, just get LED screens <laughs> and get them to loop something. It will be the exact same thing. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Whoopsie doopsie, it kind of just opened for me, Professor. I have an alarm here for like 9.30 something so that I just, I don't remember, I don't forget to stop the stream in order to attend my work meeting. Well, that's quite interesting, being an actress and a voice actor. What is this place? This is the room of requirement. That is some talent, because she does fit this game just it. fine. Ordinary, I'm gonna... A student might stumble upon this room apply. entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed this is a to tiny bit of what beeswax my nose hurts. Well, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? 
You must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Dick! Dick, Professor? You need a the dick? The self I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. So not dick then. Okay. Because I know plenty of dicks if you need one. I don't have one, but I can help you find one. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Can I vanish people? Where do things go if I vanish them? Ah! Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Which... which color is it? Oh, well that's interesting. It's light green. Oh, it's like alter alteration magic, except I don't think that making something go away is altering Excellent it. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Okay, so vanishing shit. Doesn't actually wa vanish it, it just disassembles it magically. I can has a see a glowy thingy. My old school I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment that you have, than you expected. Let me know if you want to try and meet again. Sincerely. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Pavelio. Aww. Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Boof! Revelio. I accued it. I accued enough. There we go. Kind of sad that they don't allow me to fly in here. Ooh. So that's a slippy bit. I don't wanna get towards that bag. No, bag doesn't want me. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Intruder, stop the Pavelio. No, not that's not helpful. You worthless pile of tin. Oh, then maybe hire better school guards. Well, if I ever needed a bathroom. But offended the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. But not a shit. Revelia. I mean, this is where you take a shit and then you take a bath. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Like you're doing right now? Places are plenty wide. What was that? A bag. Was that a golden snitch? Apparently, uh, yes. You should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Pavelio. Do I climb into that room? It's kind of felt like it was tall enough for me to just jump in, but apparently not. I mean, I do have some great jumping capabilities sometimes. But just sometimes. Here, so maybe through here? here. It's hard to figure out what is climbable and what isn't. No idea. Revelia. I hope that house elf can find us in here. That is definitely three candles, but it's not where I need Yikes, them to be. Careful. Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <sighs> Hello. Ah, Deke. Oh, you're friendly. You. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Nah, Deke I'm a is horse. To meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then. The room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. A giant bubblegum piece. I wonder if I just thought empty. Can you just like live in one and just change it up as your mood hits you? If two people are in it at once, do both of them have their own instance? Can Deke travel between instances freely? I have so many questions. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. Oh, my character's so happy! I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Okay! Do I need to pay for it? Do I pay the room for it? No, I don't. Okay, fair enough. I just clicked the button. 
You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Revelio. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. I'm already I'm taking advantage of it. Brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. I do like that I am airheaded enough to not even know what conjuring is. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. I wonder you what it feels like to since they'll resemble the ones you've already used. To vanish to something and just feel a whole bunch of rocks in your pocket. That's how I rotate things. Cool. I can't switch through styles. I think botanical is honestly the prettiest one. table incoming raid oh thank you for raiding me I don't think that I'm that interesting but you're welcome to uh, decorating in here right now I would like something that yeah that seems about right It here, I think. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Yeah, but I would kind of like this as well because it will just grow shit for me. Oh, it's a foot. That's kind of cool. Hello! Apparently I have all the useless things as well, like rugs.
there isn't like super a lot of style choice, but I appreciate what's there. It might be kind of weird to have it in here though. Because it kind of feels like the whole place is already decorated by the angle of this. Is there anything else in rugs? No. What about regular furniture? <laughs> I mean, sure. But my character keeps on just sleeping on the floor, so there's that. I will use this this floor over here. Maybe I should just have like a rug in the middle of the room. Which way is it facing? I think that's the back and this is the front. Everything's in yellow because we're we're Hufflepuff. It's it's only right. An island painting, you say? Sure. Let's let's add some decoration. I feel like I haven't collected so many things. Ooh. You know what? You're my centerpiece. Don't even know what that oh that didn't cost that that much. That that costed an okay amount. Oh, okay, so collecting animals, actually what it does is it collects the little sculptures you can place. Jesus Christ, I can't tell which way the puff skin is facing. This way. We... What is utility? Oh, well, we already have one of those. Ah. Huh. Don't know. Don't really want to hang dead animals or... Quidditch memorabilia, but... I think this is as close as we can get. Another one. Another one in here. Here we go. Look at us go! So, we need a nap corner. We want the bigger nap. like a proper big nap corner. I wish I had like some pillows, maybe a bed. Some pillows would be ideal though. Yeah, that's that's cool. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. It's all in yellow. Do not underestimate his insights. Tell me about Deke. I'm not gonna ask Deke that, apparently. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. 
Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But, but what about the outside the, the castle? Has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Complete the tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut Ooh. an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. I can cut people. I, I was gonna speak to Deke, but Deke doesn't actually want to speak to me, so hi! I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. How much do I need? Oh, okay, 19 out of 50. Fair enough. Ooh, you're growing a thing! This is just the thing that I want to brew at all times. I don't know what is not grass, but you can definitely, like, grow it. And I do have flu powder towards, like, directly in here, which is great. Please make me as many combat potions as possible. I suck at it. I would like something that I can actually use. It's way too combat -y, but... Yeah, actually, while I'm in class... While I'm in school, rather, I'll just... Have Lumos equipped when I'm outside. Something that's not Lumos can be a better idea. I wish this was more instant. That's gonna be enough for now, simply because I don't have a patience for brewing. I am so sorry, I keep on throwing things. I need to figure out what other quests I'm doing. Oh, God damn it! You and your potions, you just... Mm. Definitely do that one. Don't really feel uber good doing that one. Where is the exit? <laughs> Mainly because I think it will complete the day. Oh, I wish. Wait, no, no. <laughs> Maybe I don't. Apparently it's here to... Do good and stuff. Ah, my yellow room! Ooh. Astronomy tower, you say? I need to find more keys to smack. That's what I need. I'm at 13 out of 16 keys smacked. That's very close to completion. Revelia. Okay, so if vanishing shit is forbidden, I should assume that I just can't vanish shit in here, but... I might be able to vanish shit outside the school grounds. I 
I'm doing a normal one and just exploring in the middle of the night again. I wonder could my buddy just like teach me how to vanish locks? That would be really nice. Really nice. Don't you see the romance of it all? You and I, we are the stuff of poems. Our love is the muse of a thousand rhymes. Ah, oh, to be a young ghost and in love. Do you need to worry about dying if you're a ghost or are you just done with the vanishing shit and now you're just like kind of permanently there because if you're kind of just permanently there Ravenia. oh right you have an eyeball i forgot let me just switch that eyeball off you can't see me Go to sleep. I do feel so bad though. Pavelia. I'm gonna assume that that is a room. Probably correct. Uh, not just something that I can enter Revelia. through the portrait. Over here. Oh, thank you for waking me, guy. Sebastian, it's been a while. I took a it nice has. nap in here. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank Is you for what you dick? did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, I pulled my connections. Me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Don't be so sure about this that. Revelio. Let's go. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Let's go to your secret places to do some secret things where, you know, we can be alone together like teenagers. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Where is Deke when you need him? How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. Revelia. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. Don't he worry, I already looted it. Anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. Aww. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. My mister is going through a dying sister. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. It's just a GPS system for you, No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one. Am I a girlfriend? Ominous. Why he did you no take me here? He has no his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four... And that's a bad thing? Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like oh, I'm getting excited. 
professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Well, that's everything's an appropriate spell to teach students. Trust me, I know. To include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. I mean, you are a Slytherin. I am not surprised. to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm the just really loyal. Confringo. Very well. Look, we could make a good couple. He can be the crime boss and I'll be his lackey. Kaboom! You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the target. But what if I want intact. to kaboom you? Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. And I think that nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it. Oh, I think I know what to do with the hangy things now. We explode them! <laughs> Ready for some more wand play? I have to say, we I can just that. spend time, time holding our rods. We singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. I like making things go explode. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every oh, one. tell me more. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Oh, well, that's nice. I can see your dying sister. I'll be glad Just to. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. <laughs> Did you summon some you'll demons? Have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way. What was it you couldn't discuss? I'm just gonna earlier? tell you everything. I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me about the port key and Gringotts and Ran. You'll know That's everything the about my life. I yes, just really like is. you. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. You're about right. to trust me with your sister. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? I don't Honestly, know! I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness this that magic power. This game is so exciting, and I don't know why. Goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic. That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? Yeah. I, I don't. I know. mean, yeah, I can well, make things explode. When you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. I can Perhaps use Z to other. throw shit. In the meantime, an X to with make both things explode. And Ranrock after you. I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Will you spend some time with me? When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Aw, thank you. Revelio. Can you head to Feldcroft now? No? Yes, maybe. Anyway, I need shit tons of moonstone and also some potions again. Because Mr. Potions Professor is like you can only Hello, learn spells. Wait. You, you can chug things. I can hear you. Oh, hello. 
ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Um... Sebastian kind of likes me. Like, like, Actually, like, like, Sebastian likes me. brought me there. But he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. Look, we're My just going there to have some Martha, sex. And I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I I need don't to. care about it. Just don't listen to it too closely. Just ignore all the moans. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything <laughs> just about just touching our wands in front. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please, I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Oh! Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need oh, your help. Oh, okay, you're gay for him. That explains Sebastian it. Sebastian going to get an earful about this. You just, you're gonna get very lonely, I guess. Oh, he wanted to touch his his wands in private with Sebastian and look at me being the bitch that's interrupting that. Anyway, I'm totes not actually like going to sleep. Even though I probably should. Like in, in the school, I mean. I want to go all the way to Hogsmeade. And then I probably should run back with my footsies so that I can explode some moony stony things. It's like I've been touching wands with my friend over there for so long and now he brings a girlfriend. He didn't tell me that he swings both ways. This is like the most wholesome game and I'm not making it so. Guardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. I I think I can already levitate objects. A young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look at her. Yeah, but, um, uh, I will in a second, I just, I want to remember what I need. Invisibility and Thunderbrew Potion. I also should see if any of my gears are any gears any better than what I'm currently wearing. Well, all of that is worse. Ooh. That just comes with a trait pre-apply. That's pretty cool. I'm just I'm gonna wear that. Don't know if it's a good trait or a bad thing. Trait, but I'm gonna wear them regardless. Ho oh, oh. ho! Um, that's kind of cute. Nothing better in the hat department. Nothing better in the shawl department. Nothing better in the robes department. And nothing better in this department. But we should also go through looksies, right? Kinda like this one. Eh, I forget to press F sometimes and just click in. I wish that it was like a combined menu. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, in case I want the flying hat. That's the pink one. 
in case I want to sleep outside. I kind of have a feeling that this one is like for the hippie students that have done just too much weed so, so their hat has gotten very very flimsy there are just so many shawl designs In my house, I legitimately have like two. And look at my character just having like several hundred in here. I feel like this one though. <laughs> Ooh. Don't know when I got this one, but it looks cool. Da da da! Batman! I have one coat. For winter time, I legitimately have one coat. My honey over here has like several hundred. Look at us being rich on this collecting outfits department. Oh, that's not bad either. I like these ones for having a skirt. I like skirts, honestly. You know, with this, <laughs> this just looks pretty cool. That's, that's just in case I want to join like an official army. I just, you know, thought I'll, I'll hang around for that one. I don't really like how shawl con contrasts with the... With this part. Hmm. What if it was red? I think red goes better in here because it follows the end of my sleeve there. <laughs> ah yes! Beckett style! <laughs> I think this is slightly too hardcore for Beckett, honestly. I think you would have a bit less ridges on things. And I'm just gonna go with like a cool black handle to go with this look. And just, you know, just in case, just in case you need to know, I am a Hufflepuff. I'm just doing a normal one in here, don't mind me. Anyways, what was it that I needed to buy? Invisibility and Thunderbrew Potion, got it. What can I do for you today? Well, first of all, take all my shit. Just all of it, just take it. You can hats. I do not need. Now, Thunder Brew. A wise decision. Th thank you again and for delivering those potions to my mom. Save me a lot of time and trouble. Cool. Just in case I ever need invisibility. I, I still don't have one potion recipe, I'll but this is good. You again. Farewell for now. Well, thank you. Now, I will use 
me how is it called thunder invisibility potion just anywhere because i don't need to use it with enemies and the thunder brew i do need to use with enemies so step one find some enemies Rebellion. And just in case we encounter any moonstones, I'm taking them too. Where am I? Okay, that's Hogsmeade. Fair enough. I am currently running sorta of in that direction. Or in that direct in one of the directions. You know what? Let's go to North Fort Bog because definitely gonna be some enemies somewhere in approximate direction of forwards and we also need some moons though. handy resource indeed your for all the moon guide. I'm most pleased to be included cool now let me figure out which direction I'm going in eh? okay um I think Sort of this direction. Sort of where I need to go. Who lived here, I wonder? Revelio. Mm. Do I push? Do I pull? To explode? Well, never mind, because I don't really have anything to use anyway. I need more of them grass. Rebellion. Those are trolls. Don't really fancy going down to trolls. Okay, that's on three. So that's some extra moonstone. Yep, I was right. There is a... What did you get? There is another flu flu in this direction, which I am gonna take. How nice to see you, my young friend. Oh, indeed. Rally behind strength, and you can't go wrong when minds stand behind whimsy that castles fall. Betting on the dragon fights was the best decision I've made yet. They come up. Oh, the anticipation. You have insulted the same trick, though. Yes. Cool. I used me potions and stuffs. So I got stat done. Don't have all the moonstone yet, though. I have more moonstone than I did, but I would like some more moonstone than what I have right now. Oh, that's some moonstone. 
professor is like, oh no, it's so dangerous outside, do not go outside. And I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean it's so dangerous outside? I live outside, it's great. I even sleep in here sometimes. like a moonstone heaven cool ma i found the moonstone heaven collected the bishis so the bishis are done I'm gonna start a fire in here because you know dark souls that's another merlin trial i'm just gonna take all the lace wings while here and moonstone heaven again whoa i know what that means merlin trial Rebellion. Definitely have all the moonstones that I need now. And always have some more. Really wanna lack moonstones. It's not my thing. Oh, but that was some very fruitful moonstone heaven. Let me check how much time I have. Approximately 20 minutes each. Towards checking out and goings towards my worky thingy is a good idea. So, you know what? Let's go to Questy Poos and just maybe follow this one. And, and just, you know, go and meet her. That's a good idea. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found in Gringotts. Wait, did I have anything else? Uh, come and see me as soon as you can. I have returned from rather unproductive trip to the Ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Professor Fig. Alrighty. Let me just... Mapsy doopsy Hogwartootsy. Damn it. Can't expect it to be able to just go directly to the room of requirement, but the entry is right next to the flu flus for the astronomy tower anyway. So I can just footsies over there. But safe to say that I haven't mastered my map yet. That is true, we do need some deke. It's right at the ground floor. 
Like, not at the ground, ground floor, but here. Hello! I have the moon. How do you request it, Professor? Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. I noticed! Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Did I unlock more rugs? I did! So these ones are like medium things. Nurse and baby, house selves and mistress. That sounds kind of kinky. Gazing witch. Dapper wizard. Gazing wizard. Niffler and witch. I'll do a gazing witch because that sounds kind of romantic. myself at myself, even though it has no reflection, unfortunately. So that's just lights. Little tables. Comfy chairs. <laughs> I don't think I can! No! I can't make my place all Halloween-y! This is just gonna be the... Naughty corner chair. <laughs> I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. Oh, cool! You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Ooh. Okay! I cannot- I can do this! There we go. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Just, you know, in case you wanted to stop playing the game and start playing Sims. I don't do these yet.
I want him to gaze deeply into my eyes. Desire to change its color. I mean, its size. Ooh. Cool. Do we have a. We do have a yellow. This can be a now chair for midgets. More advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Well, of course we, we would like to do this in real life. I mean, so would I. Ambiance? Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Ambiance? You said? Everything's botanical style. You've been practicing. Ah yes, this is what it's called. Practicing, not customizing. Ooh. It's looking more and more like my common room by the minute. to that spell yet. Okay. I think I've done the majority of walls. It has to be green and full of living things. No other way! Cool! Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course! Ambiance! Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Oh my god. I like natural and earthy, but all of this sounds cool. I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy, as though- I want this to match, but goddammit- oh, Sounds perfect. Moonlit and mysterious doesn't sound appealing. <laughs> We're going with a theme here. The theme is green. Mm, quite a difference. Oh, of beyond. course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. 
Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. I just Thank feel you, like I'm breathing the dream. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. Yes. No matter elf how is much deek. time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. An elf has a deek. Oh, that is a lot of space. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room more equipped space. itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. I'm not gonna use it wisely, but I am gonna use it. I think that's the exit. getting to potions. I, I'm playing decoration game now. What do you mean scientific? Shit. We don't want that in our house. Be because we require a place to live in. <laughs> That's why. We decided it's ours now. To be fair, everyone else can st probably still use it? Probably. I'm not sure. I might be special. It's mine now. I live here. What do you mean, common room? Don't worry, I'm just I'm just living in somebody's nightmare, but it's green. Hello, Anerba. I'm gonna be going off soon because I have a meeting. Oh, you can? Oh, thank you. I did not realize that. Oh, I mean, I'm in a room of requirement. I wonder if anyone can actually find it. Oh my god. This is just like, in case we want to do something inappropriate. Right here. A herbology trophy, you say? <laughs> Don't think I want anything, but it's mine now. I think in some games it works as if Silent Hill was a personal hell. I think it was the second one. And in the first and third one... I believe there's just one, like, really cursed Silent Hill that everybody shares. Yay! 
Yay! Ooh, thank you. I'll take that. I'll take that. Ha! Ah. Home! Actually. I do want to see one thing. Where's the elf? I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appears? I, I want to see what gloomy will look like. Like dark and mysterious? I feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. Be fair, I did describe it. Whoa. Ah. Whoa. Ah. I like my carpet as it is. Not trimming my carpet for you. Ah. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> I want to try the last one. I'd like to ask you about changing the room. Then ambience. then I'll make a of choice. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. I'm pretty sure it's being lit by the moon right now. This isn't the vibe. I liked I liked the previous one more. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look? The, most the earthy one is okay, but it's kind of weird and like green colored. But the mystery vibe kind of fits with the all green aesthetic, eerie. especially considering that the forbidden forest, we're talking about the forbidden shadows. Sounds perfect. So forbidden -y, so foresty. All my character now needs is emotes and the ability to sit down. <laughs> the ability to sit down would be absolutely perfect. Revelia. Cool, I can brew that. I have enough wig and weld sort of for now. No, I'm not planning on being around for a very, very long time because if you remember, I started the month long training, which will probably take me several months, which means I have more work and not more pay. Well, at least month long, because I was told to stop my regular work. The only thing that actually makes company money for like a month. Yeah, because I work part time and I had to do the whole negotiating with my boss on Friday about how I should approach this. I'm very stressed out about it. <sighs> anyway, this is the vibe. I'm gonna stop here because I have a work meeting in about 20 minutes and I'll probably be back on early Thursday morning because I have a doctor's appointment at between 8 to 10 a.m. and that's definitely gonna be stressing me out. Then another work meeting on Friday and that's also gonna be stressing me out. So when I'm stressed, I tend to be in these games. Woo! But at least they're my happy place. This place is so wholesome. 
So thank you all for coming and for watching. And I'm gonna see you next time. Till you.